Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're going to be carrying on, we're going to start a new run. And we're going to be using Cain this time. He starts off with a little bit less health, but he's got the Look Foot item, which gives you a slightly better chance of things dropping. And he's also got the cool eye patch thing going on as well, which is quite nice. Kill the Leapers. It doesn't do any more damage, but I think he has a little bit more potential than Isaac, especially in the early stages of the game. Oh, I don't like this room. Can we lower these guys? There we go. And we don't start with a bomb when we play as Kane either, we start with a key. So it's a little bit of a different play style. If we can get a bomb, I would like one so we can blow up that tinted rock. Shoot the fire. Amazed that I didn't take damage there. But hey, I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. We've got another key. We're going to wait before we go into our boss room. We might be able to find a bomb to get the tinted rock. And if you can split up soon, that would be very nice. There we go. And still no bomb. Okay. Magneto, the item snatcher. That will, if there's any items out of range, that will pull them towards us automatically, I think. So we don't have to be able to fly across pits to be able to get into these places anymore. Which is quite nice. Should probably shoot this poop as well, because we've got a little bit higher chance of getting something out of it as Kane. Although we're getting nothing so far, Jesus. Well, you wasted everybody's time. I hope you're happy. We only have two hearts as well, so I'm going to want to avoid taking damage if possible on this boss fight. Thankfully it's monstrous, so it's quite easy to not take damage on. Provided his little guys don't screw me over. And provided I don't get trapped in a corner as well. There we go. Little guys are done. We can just concentrate on monstro. I would like to pick up a tears upgrade, maybe a damage upgrade as well. Early doors. HP would be nice as well, so there's quite a few things on our shopping list. A decent chance of getting a HP upgrade from Monstro. I'm hoping we get the meat because that'll give us a damage upgrade at the same time. We probably won't get a deal with the devil. If, if we're lucky, we'll get one on the next floor. If you could die soon, that would be very nice. We do do quite decent damage to Monstro, but I don't think he has a massive health pool. That's him down. Take the Spirit Heart. Torn Photo, Tears and Shot Speed up. That's a nice upgrade, actually. Um, we're not going to be able to get our Blue Rock opened, so we'll just move on to the next floor. We're not doing bad for time. Uh, we can't get in there. That's fine. Yeah, that uh, Torn Photo was a pretty big damage upgrade. And there's the bomb that we needed in the last floor. Brilliant. Spider Bite. Slow effect. This has our, gives our tears a chance to slow enemies when it hits them. Which could be super useful. Especially on the later floors when a lot of the enemies tend to be really, really quick. So you, you can already see the effect it's having on some of these guys. Or you would be able to if I weren't killing them quickly. Just poke out from there, that'd be very nice. Thank you. Move on. We don't want to go to our boss room just yet, I don't think. We can do a little bit more exploring. We'll take the petrified poop. It gives us more chance to get items out of the poop when we shoot it. You're just going to run away from us so you can die, thank you. Now there are two rooms that we can unlock here. One of them is probably going to be a library. I'm going to open this one, I think. Got the world, the magician, the high priestess, the hanged man. We'll take the hanged man because that'll be the most useful of the ones there are in the room. I think we'll probably come back. If we use the hanged man on the boss fight, which I don't think we will, we'll come back and pick up another one. I do want to try and see if there's a secret room down here. It's looking like the most likely location. There we go. 
Ooh, that's a nice bit of money. Nice bit of money. Again, hoping for an HP upgrade here, or a damage upgrade. Hoping to not take damage more than anything so we can get a deal with the devil, maybe. Definitely don't want to get cornered by the poop. Want to get these down to two as quickly as possible, really. So we should really be focusing on the small ones. Less enemies to avoid obviously means less chance of taking that damage that we're so desperate to avoid. Shoot him in the face. And he's going down pretty quickly. Basement boy achieved. I think we get that for completing the basement without taking any damage. And we take the blood clot damage and range up. It's always nice. I don't want that item because that is a pretty bad item. Especially given that it'll put us down to one heart. It does require quite a bit of... It can do quite a bit of damage but it requires a bit of management to make it work. So we're going to stick away from that for now. Move on to the... We've unlocked Samson apparently as well. I don't know why we've unlocked Samson but we have. So we're in the caves. Literally impossible for us to die here. Everything very easily avoidable. We've got a bomb that's going to help us when we're looking for secret rooms. I do want to hold on to our key. I'll probably go into the treasure room rather than the shop. These guys are some of the most annoying enemies in the entire game. If you could pop up at some point soon, that would be nice. Come on now. There we go. That's more like it. Flies. Oh, can't believe we didn't take damage. Everything is dead. That's excellent. We've got a second key, so if we can get to 15 coins, I will go into the shop. We might be able to get a decent item. Oh, those rocks, nothing. Okay. These little crawlers. Let's see if we can kill these guys nice and quickly. Obviously another three over here. But again, the slow tears are having a massive effect on those guys, making them far easier to kill than they normally would be. Shoot the fire. Nothing. Grab those two coins. That gets us to 15, so we will go into the shop. Won't do it just yet. Let's we'll see if we can find the treasure room first. And there is a tinted rock. I'm tempted to blow that up rather than try for a secret room. Yeah, that was worth it. Oh, that was stupid damage to take. These guys have got homing... T well, this guy down here has got homing tears, which is a bit of a pain. But we get a spirit heart and a bomb. So the fact that we took that spirit heart of damage isn't necessarily as bad as it could have been. Oh, I want you dead. Thank you. Occasionally you'll get a room with these guys where there's three of them on each of the side walls and it's a nightmare to try and avoid damage. Daddy long legs, daddy's love. Now we've got this little shadow following us around and every now and then the shadow will stomp down and crush an enemy in the room. It's pretty helpful, it's not the best item but it's definitely better than nothing. So we'll, we'll take it. I'm going to the shop. Battery. There's not. There's actually no point in us buying that yet because we don't have a space bar right now. We'll take the blue heart. There is a chance we can get back up to 15 coins. Facing Larry Jr. Did we just kill you? And there's Daddy Longlegs doing work. I could have swore that Larry Jr. was the boss on our last floor. Maybe I was just mistaken, I don't know. Anyway, it's going down very quickly indeed. There we go, with help from Daddy Longlegs. Mum's coin purse, it's going to give us a few pills. I'm going to go into the devil room first. Oh, shall we take it? I think we've got to take it, haven't we? Yeah, we'll take the brimstone. It's got to be done, I'm sorry. I like it too much. 
is just too good of an item. Expl okay, okay. Run away from my own poo. Explosive diarrhea one. That we'll remember that one. Health up. Look down. And balls of steel. On the whole, cannot complain about that, to be honest. We got brimstone for only one heart, effectively. I mean, we took a tears, uh, look downgrade, but we had a look upgrade to start off with, so we're, we're essentially in a really good position here. We're going to the curse room. Oh, that is such a good payout. The goat head and two spirit hearts. The goat head will give us guaranteed deal with the devil after a boss fight. And if we can take down Sloth nice and quickly, that's excellent. Judgment. We'll keep the hangman for now. We might need it to cross some gaps. It's very handy, is this? We're doing a massive amount of damage already. This is really nice. Brimstone's charging fairly quickly. Can't complain too much. And this is... Pisces, tears up and knockback shot. How does knockback work with Brimstone? I have no idea. I think tears up reduces the charge time. We'll see. No, the knockback has no effect on Brimstone. Okay. I didn't really expect it to. But quite nicely. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. Okay, we'll kite these guys around. The ones with their eyes open are even faster than the regular ones, which is a bit of a pain. Daddy Longlegs doing work again. Okay. Oh, the blue heart payouts. This is ridiculous. The game's been so kind to us. This hardly ever happens, by the way. The game normally shafts you with like terrible items, and well, that's a little unfair actually because it's all randomly generated, so you can't really. You can't really blame a randomly generated thing for shafting you, it's like... That's the way it was designed to work. So really, it's only doing its job, and if... If somebody chastised me for doing my job, I'd be, I'd be annoyed with them, to be honest. Shub goes down very quickly, we'll pick up a HP upgrade. Might be able to get another two point deal with the devil here. Oh, you know, I'm taking, I'm taking both of these items, I don't even care. The ceremonial robes, and the mark for extra damage. This is fantastic. I'm going to say this is a one run already. I know we've... I've had form with saying things like that before, but I really be honestly believe if we can pick up one more damage upgrade, it would be impossible to mess this up. Shop gives me terrible items as usual. Apart from that coin, I'll take that. Uh, we've got a few bombs. We can try for a secret room here. No. We might as well explore, to be honest, because... Well, we're only going to gain things. I mean, look at this. It's ridiculous. No, I'm not going to open that. Could be a bit of a waste. It could be something nice, but it's probably going to be a waste of everyone's time, to be honest. No, the secret room's definitely not there. Yeah, I think we just move on, to be honest. We've done... We've got a decent amount done on this floor. We've got a couple of nice pickups, especially with our deal with the devil. That could be what... That and the brimstone's going to be what makes us this time. We'll move down to the depths. Brimstone fully charged. Clear a room straight away. I mean, I know there's quite a few people that don't automatically take Brimstone every time it comes up just because it doesn't make for that very interesting of a run. But for me, it shows up that infrequently that I just, I, when it does come up, I just feel like I have to take it. The broken remote. Doctor's remote, reusable airstrike. It's better than having no space bar item. It's a little tricky to control. Well, it can be a little difficult to control and it can screw you over, but. Like I say, it's better than nothing. Are there any tinted rocks in here? Doesn't look like it. Shop. PhD. Better pills, I'm going to take that. That gives us a pill, which is a health, which I actually don't want because we're at the health cap anyway. 
but it now makes all the pills that drop have a positive effect rather than the chance of a negative one and we can automatically identify a pill just by holding it for a few seconds as well which is even better shoot those little nubs and we get a key we'll do the boss why not war what is it good for absolutely nothing what are you good for absolutely nothing oh and as i say that i take silly damage but we gotta deal with the devil anyway because you know goat head and everything i'm gonna actually take that i want to take it without i want to take it before this heart comes and screws me over that way we can pick up the heart and it'll only cost us two have we been to our treasure room? I don't know if we have. We'll keep exploring anyway, because, you know. Yeah, we have been to the treasure room, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we got the Doctor Room up from the treasure room. Of course we have. But this uh, guppy's tail is paying for itself, which is nice. We're getting plenty of uh, spirit heart drops. Again, so much damage, it's ridiculous. There's a pill drop somewhere in here. I didn't see that at first. There we go. Balls of steel. I'll take that. Cuba meat saved us from taking damage there. It blocked the bones from these guys. Come on, brimstone war. I don't fancy a brimstone war right now. And we'll just move on, honestly. We'll take Ball of Steel with us, because if we take any stupid damage, we can always regen back to the... Like that. We can always get back to the health cap. We can just go straight down, there's nothing. Oh, I've just realised I missed a tinted rock in the corner of that room. It probably wouldn't have been of massive benefit anyway, because we've been at the health cap. The most common thing that you get from those anyway is like blue hearts. So it wouldn't really have done much for us. Oh, well, that was different. No tinted rocks, okay. We'll fire through there, we can open you. And you pay for yourself. That's fantastic. We're going to look everywhere again because I wanted to uh, see how good of a run we can actually make this. If we can go further than killing Mum's heart, or it lives, or whatever you want to call it, then that would be fantastic, because now that we have actually killed it lives, there are extra places we can go to and extra bosses that we can fight. So it's always kind of ramping up the challenge. I don't really want that white heart. I don't even know if I can pick it up, to be honest. Just in the chest. Two bombs. Two bombs for a key. Not bad. Go into the gold room. See what we get. Sham of the Vampire. Kills heal. It essentially does nothing for us because we have no red heart containers, but might as well pick it up anyway. There's another blue rock there. They sometimes have chests inside them, so I will bomb that one. Or blue hearts that we don't need. This game has been awfully kind to us today. I get the feeling that it's going to shaft us in a future room because of it. I will take that because I'd rather have a blue heart than a black heart. Kill all the hands of mom. And now we'll kill her herself. We're not doing massive damage, but... Again, we've got a massive health cushion, so... Yeah, show yourself. There we go. That was a, oh, that was a good hit. One more hit. There we go. Jesus juice, damage and range up. Do I want to take that? Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? It gives us flight. We can't go back to pick up those other spirit hats, but we will 
move on into the womb. And if the womb's anything like the other floors that we've been to, we're just going to get a ridiculous amount of spirit house dropping anyway. The brilliant thing is now that we've got flying, we can just hang out over pits, and there's very little that'll be able to hit us, in, in all honesty. Not sure which direction we're going to want to go in for the boss fight, but. Take that, that wasn't worth it. Brimstone, there we go. That was worth it. Oh, I've, I don't like this room. Try and get as many of these guys in a line as possible. There we go. I'm not going to go into our curse room because I think we've got enough good shit to be going on with in all honesty. Might as well use uh, the doctor's remote. It charges up so quickly anyway that in all honesty it's never not worth using. Thank you, couldn't find you there. Pheromones, no idea what that does. I think it's something like a charm for enemies so that they don't attack you for a little while but I, I'm not 100% sure so again not worth it take these guys out nice and quickly and open that again not worth it I need to stop with these chests man shit we're not gonna play the blood bank Right, Mr. Fred. This is not a boss fight that I see very often, in all honesty. But it's one that can safely stay a decent distance away from him, because he doesn't really move, I don't think, from the middle. And we can fly over his creep as well, so that's even makes him even less of a threat. We get a black heart from that. The range and the shot speed is kind of irrelevant. I do want to take the Book of Sin, but three hearts is a little... Oh, we'll do it. We'll take the Book of Sin. And we get two of hearts. So we can generate an item every four rooms. That's not bad. There's actually a battery charge back here, so I will go pick that up and we can use it again. Maybe get us a spirit heart. Pills. Balls of steel. Two spirit hearts. Even better. And we'll move on. We're going to want to try and find Mum's heart as quickly as possible in this floor. The double key room there, I'm not all that bothered about. Take these guys out nice and quickly. Yeah, Brimstone's charging really quickly now as well, which is nice. Oh, blue heart again. So already that deal, deal with the devil's paid for itself, which is amazing. That was less than amazing, but I'll take the two bombs and the key. Take that guy, they can shoot lasers, which I'm not very impressed with. Use the book of sin again, and again, and get a black heart. Hover over the rocks, we can block all the projectiles. Not happy about that. L even less happy about that, holy shit. But we're going to have another... We're going to have another charge on the... Oh, I don't like this room. We're going to have another charge on the Book of Sin before we reach our boss. Oh, that was a bad move, actually. We get a black hat back. And we get a look up, we've got a look back. So that's alright, that's not too bad. One shot those guys. We'll open that, despite the last few not being too good. The monkey paw, wish granted. I have no idea what that does. But I'm taking it because it sounds better than having petrified poop.
Wheel of Fortune, we can drop a slot machine somewhere, I think. I'm going to do one more room because I want another charge on the book before... That was stupid. I want another charge on the book before we go to the boss fight. We could get another heart out of it, but obviously only it's only a benefit to us if we complete this room without taking damage, which we are going to do. And we get... And that's the phone in the background. Can you shut up, please? Thank you. Ah, god damn it. Why do I keep accidentally using my keys? Take mum's heart. Get rid of these eyes first. And now we can focus fire on the main boss. The slow effect actually slows her tears down as well. Which is nice, even though she doesn't move all that much. I'm not happy with that damage. Even less happy with that, but she's going to go down. We avoided a quad brimstone. We'll go into the chest. And apparently that's completed. Which I think I think it's because it's the first time I've completed it with this character. So I'll settle for that. And he's found something. That's a little terrifying. The rubber cement has appeared in the basement. And that's it for another episode of The Binding of Isaac Reba. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you, see you next time.